Today I want to talk about some of the objections I see from our clients on scaling AI and how do we approach those objections to get them going with their advanced analytics and artificial intelligence initiatives. So one common objection that clients have is having the right data before they get started and often this results in paralysis by analysis. So instead of worrying about getting all of the data that they could potentially need, we need to take a pivot and look at what's the use case we're trying to solve for and then what data sets could be relevant. And then we can start to look at what data they have internally, what's available across silos, what's the quality, and then identify gaps. And that's where we can start to use this concept of a data marketplace. So we could pull in external data sets to enrich the data that clients are using, or if they don't know what data to use internally yet, we can go completely external and start to create analysis to generate insights and give them ideas on where pockets of values are, and then we can start to pull in the relevant internal data sets to complement those external data sets. Another barrier clients face in scaling AI is the skills or the talent gap that they face internally. So a lot of organizations are trying to stand up these analytic capabilities where it requires a lot of data engineers, data scientists, and they don't have that talent in-house. So now we're coming at it with this concept of a pod model where we can wrap resources around their business leads and we can bring in a data engineer, a data visualization person, a data scientist to work with the business lead to understand, again, what's the use case, what are we trying to accomplish, what's the objective, what insights would be relevant, and then what data sets we would need to generate those types of insights. And then we can also look at how we stand up the COE's center of excellence offshore, nearshore, to continue to scale the experiments that were successful in our experimentation phase. Another barrier I see to scaling AI is the right architecture. So a lot of clients, even after they get the data and the talent figured out, they're not sure what tools and what platform to leverage. And they're too worried about making an investment in a tool that may not be the right fit long term. So what we see a lot of organizations doing is testing out sandbox environments, similar to what we offer within AIP+. So now they're able to see, does this cloud provider meet my needs? from a processing capacity or a security and regulations perspective? And does this tool set do what I'm looking for? Perhaps we're looking for something on data integration, or does it do the type of machine learning analytics that I need, or can it handle the visualizations that I'm trying to put out to my users? We can test them out in that sandbox environment, do some benchmarking, determine what's a fit without any type of commitment or concerns on long-term investments. Another barrier to scaling AI is how it's going to be funded and even the ROI expectations on initial use cases or experimentation. So clients really need to think about this as a way to test pockets of value and not look for ROI on those initial experiments. So they need to understand that by doing these experiments, we're able to identify value that will be delivered when we scale it across the organization. Not if I do this small POC or proof of value off of that initial experiment, I should see a 10x return on my investment. I really appreciated having the time to talk to you about some of the hurdles we see in scaling AI. Uh, if you have any further questions, feel free to reach out to us.